here we have an original, very old Terry's Angle Pies lamp. I've had this lamp for about 15 years, maybe a bit more now, and it's been in constant use all that time I've had it. As you can see, I have rewired it. I had to rewire it when I first received it because this is the original or the remains of the original flex. Um, all well past redemption, uh, as you can see. The, the wire degradation, uh, the insulation, it's just gone brittle and uh, it's not safe to use anymore so that had to come out and you can see the the fade of the uh, color of it uh, the whole lamp was filthy actually when it first arrived i had to give it a thorough uh, clean and you can just see uh, some of the parts just were how dirty it was so it suffered paint loss um, in a few areas. The base has suffered from corrosion, which is unsightly. Um, I've been toying with the idea of doing something with it for years now. Um, it's quite pleasing in cream. Uh, as you can see, it's a nice neutral colour, so it'll go pretty much with anything. But... There are loads of better cream examples about in good condition, so I'll explain in a moment what the catalyst uh, for this was, me wanting to strip it and do it up. But going back to the flex, I got this reproduction um, flex, but just to, out of interest, you can see the difference in thickness between them. They're both three core. Um, but the original is a lot thicker. And you can see how, again, this is how it's faded colour. So, strictly speaking, it should, if I was being totally uh, original, I would have ordered that colour. But brown, again, ties in with the plan of uh, what I'm going to do with it the colour I'm going to paint it. So yeah, here it is in its original form. It's got its original crab tree switch, which works very well still, and uh, rarer and rarer to find now. I've already done a bit of the wiring. I did rewire it years ago, but I've improved it since. I need to finish that earth tag off there. I'll solder it and crimp it properly. Uh, this knurled nut was missing originally. Um, so for the tensioner, um, so I used a, just a small brass 2BA nut. But these you can buy reproduction and that's a very good reproduction. All the fittings are there. Now, um, original springs, uh, etc. So it will restore quite nicely. I've also put uh, a period brown plug on it, um, which suits it. Anyway, enough boring waffle. What prompted me into actually doing something with this is and this turned up at the uh, local flea market. A very old tin of paint, but it's not just any old paint. As you can see, I think it said Bakelite. It's made from Bakelite. Oh, it does. It says the uh, enamel it made from Bakelite. And I have actually used this on um, some engine parts, some engine lifting eyes, and it's come out very well. But the colour is the important thing, and that is, as you can see, post office red. And it is a very vivid red. 
it's an excellent colour and it's quite nice paint to work with um, even though it does take a very long time to dry but you can hear it's still very liquid so it would be rude not to use this period paint on a period lamp which is exactly what I'll be doing so the next step is to dismantle this lamp take it apart and then strip it down back to bare metal which is what i will be doing soon